welcome back to the channel i'm paul you're watching the urban routes and today we're in the town of berry so i know you're thinking what are you doing in berry today so it's a roundabout over here and we're going to be camping on it we have camped on this roundabout before if you go down on the videos you'll see it and anyway we camped in an hammock in the wooded part over here but this time we're going to be on the other side of the roundabout Camping behind my banner. Britain's finest builder. Oh, yes. Get the banner, make our way onto the roundabout, set that up, come back off, go and get something to eat, come back when it's a little bit darker. So this is the banner, I've made some stakes already for it, we've got some ground anchors and I've got myself a knocking stick to put it up, so let's go. Yes bro! Here we go, lights changed. Keep walking, just casual walking on. So we're camping on the other side. Yeah, this is some of the features on this roundabout. Yeah, I'll show you where we camped on last uh, time we was on here. So I jumped over this fence. Yeah, and we camped between them trees there on an hammock yeah anyway let's make our way round back to the other side here we go this is us right this is how we get onto the other side so we'll walk down this side of the fence as normal and see that traffic light there is on red oh it's changing to green and we're under the bridge wait for the lights to change we'll make our way over and put up the sign right this is us We've just stopped for a minute underneath these pine trees because it's raining a little bit. But anyway, this is where they're going to be camping tonight. So I'm going to put the sign up somewhere here where you can't see behind it from my left or from the right. And then we can set our tent up behind that. And this grass all here appears to be like quite dry. So. I think this is a location for us because we're expecting rain tonight so here's the guinness banner that we've got i brought on an hammer because i've got this on stakes here as you can see at the end i'll just knock them in and we're going to be using ground anchors uh, just to keep it up so it don't fall down in the night And there we are here's the guinness advert so we can get this knocked up and we'll just be uh, camping here tonight
that's the banner set up we're gonna go into town now get ourselves something to eat get the rucksack come back and set up the camp approaching the roundabout from the very side yeah and the motorway that it's on is the M66 so we'll just drive round and head back into Berry. look at this <laughs> when I camped on this side last time you could see all the cars you could see through from my hammock to here like so you had to kind of keep low you know and uh, we're just gonna go and get some food get ourselves back well we're in very town centre now and you can see it's quite quiet because it's only like half past six but the chicken shop's over here let's go and get ourselves some to eat right we've got a boneless uh, chicken platter so yeah let's head back to the car which is this way right this is us this is where we're at got the spot with me wait till you see this this is what I call good food so it's a boneless platter half chips half rice yeah and it's peri chicken oh yes this costs nine pounds and it will feed two. Oh, this is living it oh look and we've got um, on chips we've got red salt So we're keeping it hot and spicy at the roundabout tonight. Oh yeah. So best place to eat food on the roundabout behind the Guinness banner. Oh yeah. Oh. And some more chips. Well, this is filling me up. So I'll have to invite one of you lot. Put your name down for the guest list. Yeah. Get on guys please. You could end up having chicken platter. Proper spicy it is. Oh. Well that saves on cooking as well. You don't need to cook when you can get to the shop Saturday night. Hmm? Well, this is getting proper hot now. The more I eat, the hotter it's getting. I'm just going to eat my peri chicken now, my rice. And then we can cool ourselves down. Mm. My mouth's on fire, quick. Fort Fire Brigade, quick. Well, drinks are not that much good and they give us a mango but anyway when your mouth's on fire you can't moan can you oh. Man. I need to go back to the car to get the urban rats bath for tonight because I've got my beers chilling out while we're here because we don't want warm base tonight do we not oh no yeah so we'll hide the rucksack over the fence here cover it with some um, rambo netting go to the car we'll get the urban rats bar because i've got the beers chilling out and then we can come back and party on so tonight we're in the trespass bivy so i'm gonna get this set up and then I'll show it you. As I've said before, it just has two small poles. Dead easy. No to it, really. And that's why I brought it, because it's low and it's quick to put up. That's one hoop already. So I'm just going to lie it down at the back of this side. And we're happy days tonight. So we appear to be just going down this bit a little bit 
So I put my head at this side and my feet down there so I don't get no head rushes in the night. We we'll set everything up. I put inside the um, bivvy, the Z mark. We've got the OEX four season sleeping bags, it's synthetic and they get condensation so that sort that out. And we've got a decent pillar as well today if I get a bit of luxuries in. And then um, I put down the um, magic carpet on the floor so we can chill out on that. The chair's set up. Yeah, we're all rocking and a rolling. I'll give you a quick look. So here's an outer shot. You can see magic carpet on grass there. Got a chair down there with the bar. Yeah, and here's, here's where we're at. I've got the bug net shut up at the minute on the bivvy look and uh, got a light on in there under the chair I've just got my cooking stuff at morning here's the barn tripod yeah so we're pretty much organised oh yes well this is the urban rats barn I know you're thinking I know what he's drinking tonight, going off that banner, and here we go, here's the bar, and yes, we are on the Guinness, got some more feds, hey I don't know what car that was with the back light on it, Well, it's all set up and ready to drink. Cheers. Well, John Campbell has asked me to shout his friend out, Luke Udale from Clayton Moore. So, hello, Luke from the Urban Rats. Also, can I shout out He Gold the Mask from the Rats? Hello, he go. Yeah, and a big shout out to my mate Ryland, aka the Jawbreaker, Roger, Spodger, big 10 4 on that. Oh, yeah, and John Eagle, because I know you're watching the channel as well, so are you alright, John? Long time. Yeah, and a big massive shout out to all you people what are tuning into the channel every week and what are subscribed. So, thanks a lot for that. From Urban the Rats. Well, here goes another one. Rock and roll, baby. Well, it's only 10 o'clock at night and temperatures are dipping already. Yeah, it's getting a bit cold, I've got the hats on and stuff, and before I know it, I'll be having my gloves on. Well, we've not got a lot of cans, have we? I only brought four with me, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, we're like sipping it like liquid gold. Well, I'm going to sign off, so I'll see you lot in the morning. Roger Dodger. some riot there's a couple over the road here I don't know if you can see them but they're killing each other oh they're on a motorway junction here and they don't sound English either
So he punched her in the head and she fell on the floor. Now the police are here, I can, I can hear cops. They're crossing the road. She's walking off because she's been punched in the head. Oh yeah, it's not the cops, it's uh, it was an ambulance. Yeah, so they're, they're actually over here, look, Nick trucks. But they were stood like there, where the truck is now going on to the slip road at Motorway. Well, now he's talking to a car at the traffic light. It's quite a big guy. That car's drove off. there on the floor in front of my sign <laughs> sounds Polish to me can hear him manning and raving he's 10 foot away from this sign in the front of the sign grass just here 10 foot in front of the banner uh, he appears to be a foreign guy he punched his girlfriend in the face over there and knocked her to the floor she walked off towards Aimwood he come and lay in front of my banner now he's just doubled off and it's over the other side of the roundabout Last time I seen that big guy, he was in these woods here. That's where he disappeared to. How weird is that? Flipping it, mate. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hang about here for ten minutes, and then we'll try again to get our heads down. Good morning from the bivvy and oh what a night anyway it's half past six in the morning it's starting getting a little bit busy now so I'm gonna get ourselves up and make ourselves a coffee I was just sat there listening to all noises and stuff like that and I could hear this bird and it just sounded like a phone, it was like, like what, what? Yeah, I saw the birds are up now and chirping away. Let's take a look outside and see what we've got this morning, eh? Oh, oh not, not a lot of room and all that. Not, not a lot of room. So, yeah, this is the bug net. Well, I think first things first, and I'll get my trainers out of the, uh, the bag that I use for the chair. Yeah, that's first. I'll get the trainers on. Yeah. So I put them in the bag last night just in case it rained because I'm in the bivvy you don't get that much room 
<laughs> yeah, you don't get a lot of room in a bivvy tent, you know. Gee whiz, mate. Oh. Yeah, and and then on the floor here, we've got the magic carpet. So yeah, it's a it's a good bash that carpet. Use it all the time. Ugh. Well, it weren't cold last night. I can tell you that much. Yeah. In fact, by the time I got in this bivvy last night, it was absolute boiling. That took me hoodie off and everything. I was like, oh, it's too warm. But yeah, but I'm in cold. It's not actually that cold this morning, to be fair. But anyway, I'm just going to put my hoodie back on, get my coat back on, and get the kettle on. The rat's getting dressed, isn't it? The rat is ready for action! <laughs> yeah, I'm ready for a brew, I'll tell you that much. Uh, right, let's connect the gas up. So inside the cup today, I snapped myself off one of the wooden spoons so that fits inside. We've got a cappuccino and I'll give myself a boost this morning. I'm going to wing these two um, sugars in from McDonald's. While we're waiting on the kettle, let's take out the Z mat and put away the sleeping bag and let down the pillar. So we was using the eye gear pillar last night and had a bit of luxury, didn't we? Bigger rucksack this morning just so I've got more room. The only thing is, I've got, I've got this dead mat and they're good, but they're just, they're just dead bulky, you know, and that's the only problem with them the proper bulky. And if you put them to the bottom of your rucksack, you stand out a mile like you're going camping. If you put it inside your rucksack, you've not got much room for anything else. Right, I'm going to take down this bivvy quickly. It's only a two minute job, I think. It's how small the poles are. I'll just check it for slug.
I'm not even going to put that in its bag this morning because no point. My car's literally round the corner. I've got a bigger rucksack this morning. So it's just going to sit in there and it's easier when I get to the other side. Yeah. Put the poles in the bag though. Yeah. Tiny these holes. Tiny this bag man. Horrendous. Horrendous. Right. Get in there. Right, that's the kettle boiled. Through in the mornings, don't you? Yeah, under the pine tree. Well, that's the end of the camp at Berry. We turned up yesterday with the Guinness banner. We had a Perry chicken boneless platter with half rice and chips. We drunk some Guinness. So, until next time, stay safe, stay stealthy. And I'll see you on the next Urban Rats adventure. Over and out. Well, I'll just take down the banner and that's us out of town. <laughs>